you know what day it is today, don't you? It's Sunday. Barry's birthday. Oh, oh, right. Well, 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 what's it going to do with me? Well, now, I may have offered to throw him a bit of a party. Me, yeah. Well, you know how it is. I was having a few drinks with him and Fat Paul and Scouse Terry and that lot. Uh... And I was saying how nice Grey Gables is. And they was all saying they'd never been here. And I, well... Um... Oh, I see, yeah. Well, what does Clary think about that, then? Not much, to be honest. <laughs> so that's why we need to have it here. What, in my room? Well, Clary says no way we can use ours. And we can't have it in the lounge, can we? You've got a nerve, Eddie. Oh, come on, Dad. I'll do all the organising. There'll be plenty of booze, bit of food and that. And you get on well with Baggy's missus, don't you? Oh, ladies is invited too, aren't they? Of course. Ah. Yeah, she's a warm and comforting woman, is Baggy Sylvia. <laughs> for a reason. <laughs> Pagan, Daddy. Well, that's the same thing. Look, I'm nipping down for breakfast. Uh, uh, then I'll get flagons from the cider shed. She won't drink her cider. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'll get some other booze from the cash and carry as well. She likes that peach snaps, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. I'll get a bottle of that and some mixers. So what do you say? They're working very hard on the clues. Brian? Hmm? Oh, sorry, darling. Josh and Phoebe, hmm? they're putting in a lot of effort with this treasure hunt. Oh, good for them. <laughs> it's going to be such fun having young people around. Oh, I'm dreading it. Why is that? Well, do we really want a horde of unwashed louts invading the house? <laughs> they are not louts. They're young farmers. Oh. Kate! You know what young people are like when they get a few drinks inside them. It's going to be a very enjoyable event. Mm. And Liam says he might run a photo in the Echo. That's all right, then. Mm. I think it's very good of everyone to support the Flood Relief Fund in this way. Surely all they want to do is race round the county and end up drinking beer by our pool. Kate! We really do need to get going! Oh, you know we're going to be late for the farmer's market at this rate. Surely she heard me. Well, you must have realised by now, darling, that hearing and reacting are two very different things for Kate. It was so distressing. Oh, I can imagine. To be brought face to face with it like that. Scruff really has gone. Oh. Must be very difficult to accept. I know people find it hard to understand. He was only a dog. Oh. You grow so attached, though. Well, if only I could have laid him to rest or, or just said goodbye, even. Yeah. He feels so bereft when it happens without warning. Mm. Robert says we should think of putting some sort of memorial in the garden. Oh, that's not a bad idea, Linda. Well, I don't know. I can't raise much enthusiasm for it myself. Oh, well. Whatever feels right for you. Well, especially with the house in the state it's in. Oh, Oh, I'm so with you there. When your home is affected, it casts a blight over every aspect of life, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, Caroline, I'm sorry. I know you've got problems of your no. own. No, I should be planning for this commercial property conference, but I just can't seem to concentrate. Our insurance company seems to be being deliberately obstructive. Oh, I must say ours has been fairly good. Yeah, they say there are discrepancies between what we're claiming and what's in the policy. Falling back on the small print, you know. Mm, so <laughs> annoying. Oh, and the dehumidifiers have been in there for three months. Oh, of course, it does take an inordinate amount of time for a building to dry out. Oh, so it seems. We've been able to progress with some of the work on our conservatory. Oh, well, that's encouraging. Mm, structure's taking shape, but the house itself still isn't ready for work. <sighs> oh, I know it's not just me. But knowing other people in the same boat doesn't really help, I'm afraid. No. <laughs> Oliver says we should book a holiday. Just leave it all behind for a few weeks. Well, why not, Caroline? Oh, well, if you wanted to, I'm sure we could cope. Dad? Dad? Oh, what is it? I, I, I know I ain't tidied my room yet, but I ain't going to get round to it. No, it ain't that. I got the van outside with all the booze and food in it. Oh, good old. Yes. But how am I going to get it past reception and up to your room? Ah. With eagle eye snell on the desk. Good morning, Bill. Oh, yeah. oh, good morning, Carol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lo lovely morning. You're yeah. looking very smart today. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. 
Oh, that's, that's one down any road. <laughs> Look, you'll have to create a diversion. Uh, me? Unless you want to slip all the gear upstairs. Uh, well, no, all right. Uh, uh, fire alarm. Oh, no, that'll be no good. Huh? I wouldn't be able to get into the building then, would I? Uh, uh, ah, got it. Yeah? Yeah, uh, leave it to me. Dad, <laughs> Dad, what are you going to do? Hello, Joe. Uh, morning, missus. What can I do for you? Yeah, well, I just saw a couple of dodgy characters around the back. Dodgy? In what way? Uh, well, well they, they look foreign. Foreign? Yeah, you know, uh, swarthy. <clears throat> this isn't a famous five book, Joe. Hey, you, well, I know that. I had yeah. hoped we'd moved on from the days when anyone with a... Slight suntan was assumed to have criminal intent. Uh, no, but they was uh, they was trying to break into a car. What? Well, why didn't you say? Which car was it? Uh, or, or, or this one, the, the Jag. Oh. Yeah. No signs of damage. Were they using tools of any sort? Oh, you know, I wasn't close enough to see. Yeah. So why did you think they were trying to steal it? Uh, ah, well, I, I heard one of them say, uh, this would be a mighty fine car to steal. Really? Well, well something like that. Would you recognise them again? Uh, well, I ain't sure. Be able to describe them? Well, not really, other than... Yes, uh, all right, I know. Swarthy. I'll get a plumber to look at it as soon as possible, Mrs. Oh, blimey, Nick. Hello again, Eddie. Oh! Hi, Caroline. <laughs> I, um, I borrowed a luggage trolley. I, I hope that's OK. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, salvaged a few more things from Keeper's Cottage. <laughs> Little keepsakes, you know. <laughs> yes. Uh, and glass. <laughs> Some glass ornaments. Uh, thought it would be nice for Clary to have them around her. Oh, well, that's a lovely thought, but, um... Yeah? Isn't your room that way? More lemonade, darling. Hmm? Oh, yeah, just a bit, please. Yeah. Uh, I must admit, I do have mixed feelings. But as he says, it might be a good way to promote our soft fruit. I mean, Open Farm Sunday does bring in people from a wide area. Well, it's up to you, Jenny. You must do what you think first. Well, I wish I hadn't asked Kate's advice. <sighs> oh, I was treated to a diatribe about the ghastly cow prison at Barrow Farm and accused of collaborating with the enemy. And then somehow that led into a sounding off about her lecturer, Dr Matthewson. Don't tell me. Then. He's making unreasonable demands upon her by expecting to attend seminars and hand in an essay now and then. Yes, <laughs> something like that. Oh, she's quite low at the moment, Brian. <laughs> I haven't noticed. Well, it's this treasure hunt. Well, I thought that was Phoebe's thing. Well, it is. But Kate had hoped that she and Phoebe could compete together as a team. Oh, right. And do some mother-daughter bonding. But Phoebe turned her down. I mean, she's organising it. So, of course, she can't compete as well. Oh, hardly. But it did get me thinking. I mean... The treasure hunt does sound such fun. And I know so much about the area. Oh, no, don't, so, Jenny. Count me out. No, no, no. I wasn't thinking about you, silly. It just occurred to me that perhaps Kate could join a different mother and daughter team. So, if Baggy and that are here, what's the problem? I didn't think how we'd get them up to the road. Well, they can use the lift like everybody else. What? Fat Paul. Well, if nobody else got in with him. Oh, I ain't talking about his weight. I mean, what he looks like. Ah. And Baggy and Sylvia come to that. Oh, that lot trooping through reception. I guess I think the revolution had started. Oh, so where are we going to get them in? I need you to do your Darren Brown again. Ah, ah Linda. <laughs> Good evening. Um, Dad's got something to say to you, ain't you, Dad? Yeah, ah, mm. uh, oh, ah, uh, <laughs> You ain't going to believe this, missus. <laughs> believe what, Joe? Them blokes. They're back again. So Kate didn't fancy the idea? Oh, 
said it was supposed to be a fun night out, not a mobile history lesson. Well, she has a point, Jenny. <sighs> she gets enough of that at uni, apparently. Well, to be honest, I, I think you're well out of it, and I intend to be too. Oh, what do you mean? Well, why don't you ask someone else to attend the barbecue? We could go somewhere nice for the evening and leave the youngsters to it. I am the master of the fifth Yes, Dad. That's what Maggie Sylvia called me. The master yes, of the Yes, I heard. Sylvia. What's wrong with you, eh? Oh, I didn't know Baggy was going to bring his boombox, did I? Turn it down a bit, Baggy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my you, you, you was lucky Caroline Sterling only saw you with them boxes and not the food, eh? <laughs> Quick thinking there, lad. Rick, you get that from me, eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh blind me. I'll deal with this and turn that thing off. Ah, oh, Eddie. Evening, Caroline. Would you like to tell me what's going on? Yeah, switch it off, can't you? Uh, what do you mean, what's going on? Why my chief receptionist has been sent on fool's errands. Uh, why there's a multicoloured camper van in the car park. And why Glastonbury seems to have started early. <laughs> Mrs Hickman can't hear her television. What's that smell? Uh, oh... Uh, that'll probably be the sweet and sour pizza pieces uh, or the Cajun crispy wings. They didn't come from the kitchen, did they? Uh, not exactly. Eddie, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask your guests to leave. Oh, Caroline. Now, please. Yes, OK. Sorry, guys. <laughs> See you at the ball, yeah? I'm sure they'll be glad of your custom. Uh, well, we, we, we're sorry, Mrs... Uh, it just got a bit out of hand. All right. Well, let's say no more about it. Good night. Bye. Uh, good night. I did tell you, Eddie. No, you didn't. Well, no, but I thought it. Oh, any road, never mind that. What are we going to do with all the food? You want a coffee or anything, David? Oh, no, thanks, Mum. Uh, Ed should be here any minute. You've got nice weather for it. Yeah, yeah. Always a relief at haymaking time. What about moving the cows to the new bite? I've done that. No, I mean at midday. Oh, well, I'll just take a quick break. Oh, there's no need. I'll do it. You sure? Hmm. Haven't you got open farm Sunday stuff to do? Yeah, and you're but... you're milking twice today with Eddie on this other job. No, I can manage. There's no need to interrupt the bailing just to move the cows. Hmm. Well, that'd be great. Thank you. No problem. How would you like me to bring a picnic tea out to you? Oh, <laughs> you're not likely to hear a no to that suggestion. <laughs> um. I'm seeing Chris about five, so if you say mid-afternoon. Fantastic. If it's before milking, maybe you could join us, love. If I can, I will. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Come in, Ed. You all right? Hi. Hello. We were just talking about your dad. Oh, you heard, did you? Uh. Just mentioning this pub refurbishment. How's he getting on? Yeah, yeah, he's doing okay with it. He was in trouble last night, though. Was he? Yeah. Uh, not at work. Uh, you know his mate Baggy. Is he the hippie one? Yeah, yeah, that's him. Uh, well, it was his birthday, so him and his missus and a couple of dad's mates had a bit of a party. Mm, what was this? Well, that's it. It was in Grandad's room at Grey Gables. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> All got a bit noisy. Uh, someone complained and. Caroline asked him to leave. What? Your mum and dad? No, 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 just a guest, like. Oh, so oh. everyone ended up at the ball. Mm. Oh, I imagine they were a bit miffed. No, nah, that baggy thought it was dead funny. <laughs> Said it was the politest he'd ever been chucked out of anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure Caroline did it very nicely. <laughs> well, don't suppose you want some party food, do you? So, you've got your crime number? Uh, yes. And have you given it to your insurance company? Um... I think Shula did. She spoke to them for me. OK. I don't know if you'd heard, Mrs Barford, but there have been a couple of similar incidents in the area. I hadn't, no. Mm, someone breaking into vacant houses that have been left drying out and taking what they can. Oh, how anyone can stoop so low. Yeah, it is despicable. <laughs> Praying on folk are already suffering. Do you think it's the same people, then? 
it's too early to say, but the jobs do look similar, so it's a possibility we're investigating. Uh, and we're stepping up patrols in the area. Hopefully that should act as a deterrent. Oh, too late for me. Ah, oh, well, it's not unknown for villains to return to the scene of a burglary for a second bite of the cherry, so you do need to increase your precautions, visit it more frequently, maybe get the lights on a time switch. There really isn't any point, is there, PC Burns? They've taken everything I care about. I would recommend it, if only to avoid further damage. You don't want to delay the refurbishment, do you? Don't I? I know it's depressing, Mrs Barford, but the insurance is going to cover all the work. And when you get back to Woodbine Cottage, it'll be replastered, redecorated, structurally sound, in perfect condition. That's something to look forward to, isn't it? Yes, I suppose so. This looks amazing, Mum. Can I? Of course. Thanks. Oh, starving. Do you want to serve the pie, Ruth? Sure. What sort is it? Gala. Pork pie with egg in it. Oh. Yep. I always used to wonder what bird laid those long, thin eggs. How do you do it, Mum? Well, I don't lay them. (laughs) (laughs) No, I mean... (laughs) How do you get them to run all the way along? Trade secret. Oh. You'd better start too, Ruth. You'll need to take the cows in soon. OK, thanks, Jill. Here's mustard to go with the pie. Oh, great. And a jar of pickled onions. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> hey, come and join us, Ed. Oh, you look very cosy. They picked a good spot, didn't they? Help yourself to sandwiches. Oh, yeah, thank you. There's cheese and tomato and ham salad. Oh, brilliant. Slice of pie? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> See if you want some more. No, that'll do for starters. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Mm. This is just like the old days, isn't it? Oh, not really. Quite a poor relation. How do you mean? Well, there used not to be just four of us for the haymaking picnic. It was a real crowd back then. Oh, uh, I suppose so. You should hear Grandad go on about it. If you believe him, half the village used to turn out. Oh, not quite. Everyone used to help everyone else. So the picnic was a bit of an extra thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, Ed, did we say we're just paying you in pork pie this year? (laughs) Well, if it's as good as this, I almost wouldn't mind. (laughs) And, of course, it wasn't these big bales. Jethro or someone would be on the baler and the others with pitchforks tossing the bales up onto the trailer. And there's still a place for a few small bales. Yeah, if you've got outlying stock, it's handy to be able to chuck one in the Land Rover or or on the back of the quad. Mm. You still get good use out of Oliver's old machine, don't you, Ed? Oh, yeah. And they didn't have that bail handler on the tractor. It was all done by hand. Yeah. Mm. Someone on the top of the trailer, building the load. And then we'd rope it down and carefully drive it to the barn. I can remember riding on top quite a few times. What? Yes. Used to have a wonderful view up there. You wouldn't be allowed to do that nowadays. No, no, the... There could be all sorts of unintended consequences. Couldn't there, love? There could. (laughs) Sorry? (laughs) Um, I mean, uh, you know, sometimes if the load wasn't built securely or or if whoever was driving it hit a bump or something or or took a corner a bit quick, then, um, you know, the whole lot would spill over in the lane. (laughs) Not very popular. No, (laughs) not with the people who were held up on the road. Well... It's easy to be nostalgic, but it is so much quicker now than just a two-man job. And how are you getting on with it? We make pretty good progress, haven't we, Ed? Yeah, I reckon. Are you OK to keep at it until the evening? Yeah, sure. Should get it finished tonight, then. Don't wait supper for me. All right, love. I'll have it when we're done. In fact, I might treat Ed to a pint first, if you're up for that, Ed. Oh, yeah, I, I could probably force one down <laughs> just out of politeness like. <laughs> <laughs> It was lovely, out in the hayfield, sitting in the shade of an ash tree. Make the most of that. They're on their way out, aren't they, ash trees? Oh, there's still plenty surviving. Shall I, Paul? Oh, yes, please. It's a pity Shula couldn't stay for a chat. Oh, she's a busy woman. I can't expect her to be fussing round me all the time. She doesn't see it like that. She had a lesson. She can do without having a cuckoo in the nest. Not like that at all. But I'm sure you want to get home as soon as you can. Chris? Actually, I 
I can't bear the thought, Jill. Why on earth not? Well, people keep saying how nice it will be to have it all restored, but as much as I try to think positively about it, I, I'm just dreading the prospect. What aren't you looking forward to? Oh, everything. <laughs> the trouble is, it... It doesn't feel like my home any more. Oh, Chris. It was difficult enough thinking of it as home when we moved there from the old police house, but at least I had George with me. Of course. He was never quite the same after the fire, but while he was there, I had a reason to think of it as home. But without him? Yes. When he died, I, I was left alone in... Just a house with no meaning for me. Do you understand? I really do. I, I was feeling lonely even before the flood and now this horrible burglary. Well, it's been the final straw. How do you mean? I just feel so insecure. There you go. Oh, thanks. Oh. Very well deserved, Ed. Even got the small bales done before the light went. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, mm. that is good. So, how's the contracting going? Are you managing to pick up enough work? Yeah, yeah, well, it's, it's pretty good at the moment. Mind you, it should be this time of year. Yeah, you need to make the most of the busy times because you're bound to be a lot quieter in the winter. Mm. Well, I mean, I've got this bit of haymaking. Uh, bridge farm in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. and, you know Manor Farm in Pennyhassett? Um, I know of it. We sheared their sheep last year. Uh, they ain't got that many, just a hobby flock, really. Mm -hmm. But um, did a few hours for them next week. Brilliant. The big money's in silage, in you know. Yeah, there's so much more of it. In fact, I've, I've been thinking that uh, maybe next year I should buy my own forage harvester and go all out for the local silage and work. Sounds like a really good idea, eh? Oh. oh, it's Ruth. <laughs> Probably wondering where I am. You want some crisps? Uh, no, better not. Don't want to spoil my supper. Okay. Hi, love. I'm just at the pub with Ed. David, can you come straight home? Yeah, I will as soon as I finish my pint. I'll just have the one. It's Mum. What's happened? She's been taken to hospital. So who called you? Mrs Watkins. When Mum didn't answer her door, she used a spare key. She found Mum just sitting in a chair. Unconscious? Not exactly. She was weak down one side of her face. And she couldn't speak properly. <sighs> it's all right, no, it's all right, it's OK, it's OK. Mrs Watkins did say that by the time the ambulance arrived, Heather's speech was nearly back to normal. It sounds like a stroke. That's what Mrs Watkins said. She recognised it at once because her husband had had one. But the symptoms started to clear quite quickly. That's got to be good. Maybe. But it left Mum very weak. Well, on top of how she already was. Has the hospital actually confirmed if it was a stroke? Not yet. They're doing tests. So I thought, if I leave now... Now? With the roads clear, I could probably be there by two-ish... I can take the open farm Sunday stuff with me and do it up there. But that still leaves Milton. No. I wouldn't want to ask Pip or Josh because of their exams. But I did wonder if Ed might be able no, Hold to. on, hold on, hold on. First of all, don't worry about the milking. I'll do it. You? But you've got so much else on. Yeah, well, never mind about that. I'll cope. OK, if you're sure, David. Look, I'll just go and pack the bag. No, I really don't think that's a good idea, love. But Honestly, have... you've been up since 5.30 and you've worked a full day. A four-hour drive now will be just asking for trouble. I need to be with her. She... She'll almost certainly be asleep by the time you get there. If she isn't already. Yes, much better to make an early start in the morning. And you want to be in a decent state when you get there? For your mum's sake. Come on, let's, let's just sit down now... You tell me what needs doing about Open Farm Sunday, and then we'll get off to bed. I won't be able to sleep. Well, I'll bet you get a few hours, and then you can head off in the morning. You can't do the open day stuff on top of the milking and everything. Yes, I can. You just look after yourself now. And then when you get to Prudda, you can look after your mum. She's the priority now. Mm. 
Which exam is it today? Farm finance. Mm. Best of luck with it. Thanks. What time did Mum get off? About six. So she should be there by ten? Ish. She'll ring as soon as she knows how Granny Heather is. Is the tea in that pot, Pip? Yeah, it's fresh. Oh, great. You're going to have a busy day, aren't you? <laughs> a bit. Wasn't Mum going to help you sort the lambs for the abattoir? Yeah. Can Ed help? No, he's silaging today. Mm. I was thinking I'd see if Tom could give me a hand. Or Adam, although his pickers are in now, so he'll probably be busy looking after them. I'm so sorry I can't help. No, nah, that's all right. Can't help having an exam. Yeah. And my second interview for the job tomorrow. Mm. Of course, yeah. Terrible timing, though, with us not having Eddie as well. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll manage. Somehow. So, I don't want to buy anything. Oh, all right. I wanted a chat with you, Susan. What about? Open Farm Sunday. I wondered if you'd like to get involved. Oh, in what way? We'd like you to be part of our offer. At Barrow Farm? On behalf of the Ambridge Community Shop. Oh. Well, isn't it meant to be about farming, Charlie? Oh, I see it as being more about the whole food chain. I mean, where would we farmers be if it wasn't for you retailers selling our produce? Oh, well, we don't sell anything from the estate. No. <laughs> Plenty of bridge farm stuff. Oh, but... I, I'm not talking about any direct contractual relationship. It's more about the principle of the producer-slash-retailer symbiosis. I'm sure you'd agree that's crucial. Oh, well, yeah, that goes without saying. We're all part of the same industry, and that's why we'd really value your participation. I know it's relatively short notice, but maybe you could set up a display area, tabletop or freestanding, show how things are going with the restoration of the permanent premises. Talk about the importance of the shop to the local community. Oh, yes, it's a lifeline. And having the input of someone with your professional expertise and local knowledge, it would be really valuable. Oh. And as a thank you, there'll be a party in the evening. Just for friends. Like you, who've taken part. So, what do you say? Well, it all sounds wonderful. Come for some cricket lessons. Oh, oh hi, Toby. <laughs> what a coincidence. Uh, not really. I was uh, just having a catch-up with a mate in town. Oh, right. Um, I'm just on my way to an exam. Are you sure you're not stalking me, Pip? Are you sure you're not stalking me? Well, maybe we're stalking each other. Are you looking forward to the <clears throat> treasure hunt on Friday? Yeah. Thanks for inviting us, sir. Should be a laugh. Well, and um, if you fancy exercising your brain a bit more, well, there's a quiz at the ball tonight. In Ambridge? Yeah. Will you be going? Oh, I thought I might. Um, I don't know. I think I might actually have something on tonight. Oh, well, it's OK. No worries. Uh, I'll see you Friday, then. Uh, two books of first class and uh, two of second, please, Susan. All right. I had a visitor today. Oh, yeah? Charlie Thomas. What did he want? He's asked me to take part in Open Farm Sunday at Barrow Farm. Has he? He wanted my professional expertise and local knowledge, Jolene. Uh Uh-huh. To talk about the producer-slash-retailer sim... You, You know, to talk about the shop. Well, uh, we'll probably bump into each other then. You'll be going. I work in there. We're running the beer tent. Oh, and the bar for the evening party. Oh. Hmm. Well, I'll see you there then. Hi, Pip. Hi, yeah. That's a bit of good news. What, about Granny Heather? No, Open Farm Sunday. That was Rex Fairbrother. Oh, yeah? He wanted to ask me something about this place they've made an offer for. Oh, Pear Tree Farm? Yeah, and I happened to mention that your mum's away with the open day just round the corner, and he said he and his brother would come over and help us on the day. Wasn't that nice of him? Well, they're nice boys. (laughs) Anyway, Granny Heather. Yes. Looks like she's going to be going home tomorrow. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It does look like it was a mini-stroke. 
um, a TIA, they call it, but they can't see any lasting effect. Oh, what a relief. Yeah. Um, do you want to take these back to the paddock with me? Yeah, all right. Can you get the gate? OK. Your mum's still pretty worried, mm. of course. Of course. She sends her love, hopes we're all coping. She reckons it'll be a few days yet before she's comfortable about coming home. Oh, no, she shouldn't rush back. No, that's what I told her. Mm. She should settle Heather back in and make sure everything's all right before she even considers coming home. Yeah. How is exactly? To... <laughs> Sorry, you go first. Um, did you get any help with the lambs? Yeah, yeah. Tom came over for a couple of hours. Oh, good. Got through them all. Okay. Anyway, never mind that. How was your exam? I was okay, I think. Only okay. Well, yeah, I finished all the questions anyway. Oh, well, that's good. And how are you feeling about your interview? Try not to think about it too much. It's such a great job. I don't want to get myself in a state. No. Oh, uh, Mum said best of luck with it, by the way. Thanks. Got a lot of preparation to do? Actually, I was thinking the best thing I can do is relax. <laughs> That's probably very wise. Harrison's on shift, so Fallon's sorting a team for the quiz at the ball. You can have a go, are you? Uh, you can come if you want it. <laughs> no, don't. You're welcome to it. Oh, no, all I want is a bite of supper and an early night. We'll probably kick off about nine. OK. Ice and lemon? Yes, please. Sorry, uh, are you doing the questions, Captain? Uh, no, Jolene's your quiz mistress for the evening. You're going to be on Fallon's team? Yeah, that's the plan. OK, well, there won't be any favouritism, mind. Uh, I wouldn't expect any. No, no. At least you're a straight arrow, Pip. Um, 140, please. 140. Wait, that's the picture questions, then. You all right, Pip? Uh, hiya. There you are. Oh, thanks. Uh, they're looking OK now? No, yeah, they'll do. I reckon we should get a new printer, you know. Canton. Well, come on, let's have a look at them. Uh, oh, well, they're not great, are they? Well, they're OK. Hey, Pip, Pip. What do you think? Uh, can you make out who these people are? Um, you see? Oh, is that Kanye? Oh, can't say at the moment. No, sorry, of course not. No, unfair advantage. <laughs> we can't go shelling out on a new printer just so we have slightly better pictures when we run a quiz. Well, that's not all we use it for, um, though, is it? I'll, I'll just... A decent all-in-one printer's what, what, a couple of hundred? No, no, you can get one for way well, less Kenton, than that. this is that telly all over again. If you mean we need to invest if we're going to survive, then... Yes, it is. Yeah, we can't keep spending on those other cars or we'll get into a cycle of debt. No, the only way we'll get out of debt is if we can generate some income. Am I the Kent. only one who can see that? What? Oh, sorry, am I interrupting? No, 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 it's just a, it's just a business discussion. Well, you're obviously as passionate about your work as I am about mine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, um, what can I get you, Charlie? Uh, I'll have a pint, please. Uh, right, you are. Come for the quiz? I have, Ah. But while I'm here, um, is everything in hand for Sunday? The beer and pims tent? Oh, yes, yep. Yeah. Licence arrived today. Great. Including the free bar in the evening? Mm-hmm. It's all sorted. Don't you worry. And what staff will you be sending? Oh, we're going to staff it ourselves. Oh, the A-team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the fellow's going to cover here. Well, I'm glad you're taking it so seriously. Ah, oh, we're looking forward to it. And we can't in. Certainly are. With business so limited here, we need these outside bars to keep up our income. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, just saying. And it was Kanye. Oh, so you did come after all. Well, Rex loves a pub quiz. Well, and what about your other thing, Toby? What other thing? You thought you had something on tonight? Oh, yeah, mm. uh, that was cancelled. <laughs> so Rex is here too, then? Uh, yeah, he'll be here in a minute. Oh, my dad said you'd offered to help us at our open day. Uh, uh, this Sunday? Oh, yeah, no, Rex did say something. <laughs> it's really good of you. We're uh, we're under a lot of strain at the moment. <laughs> Can I sit down for a minute? Feel free. <laughs> my uh, my team haven't got here yet. <laughs> ah, so we'll be up against you, will we? Why, well, if you think you're up to it. <laughs> hmm, well, we'll have to see, won't we? <laughs> Dad said Rex was ringing about Pear Tree Farm. How's your application coming along? Oh, we haven't heard anything. Mm. Not that we'd expect to yet. I just wonder if what we've offered is enough. What have you offered? 100 an acre. OK. Trouble is, 
Some people are paying stupid money for land at the moment. Um, would you go higher if you had to? No point. We, we've got all our costs worked out. If you lumber yourself with overheads that are too high, you've screwed yourself before you've even started. Right. You end up driving everything too hard. Your land, your animals, I mean, yourself. Yeah, I see. We'd like to be farmers, but not at any cost. We want a good life, not just working every hour there is for the bank's benefit. So, you know, if we can't find the land at the right price, well, we'll think of something else to do. That makes me realise how lucky I am. How? The land's always been there for me. But for you, uh, there's a chance you might never get it. In Russia, they called it land hunger. Did they? Oh, here's Rex. <laughs> it's really interesting talking to you. Perhaps you can tell me more on Friday. Yeah, I'll look forward to that. 65 change. I'm sorry, love. Oh, forget it. Both tired. Yeah, yeah, with no calum. Oh, God, when did you last have a night off? I oh, don't want to think about it. We shouldn't take things out on each other. It's like Charlie said, we are the A-team, aren't we? <sighs> and no matter how badly David's behaved, we shouldn't let it affect our relationship. No. I, uh, I've been thinking about uh, David, actually. What about him? I was wondering how he's going to feel about us doing the bars at Barrow Farm. What's it got to do with him? Well, Brookfield has got an open farm Sunday on too. Yeah, so? So they're bound to feel the Barrow Farm one is competition. Isn't it like sleeping with the enemy? With Ruth's mum being in and all. Well, well, there is no way that we are going to cancel. No, no, I wasn't suggesting we are going to cancel, but... um, Do you think it might be nice just to mention it to him, rather than him... Hear it from someone else. Uh, uh, Jolene, look, I'm really sorry about Heather, obviously. But as far as David's feelings are concerned, I couldn't give a flying fig. Mm. This breakfast is a bit special. You need it with these long days. Couldn't you get some help? Oh, it'll cost to get a relief milker in. And if it's someone who doesn't know the herd or our setup, you know. You're looking tired, David. Oh, it's only a few days I'll manage. I'll tell you what is worrying me, though. What? Open Farm Sunday. Ruth's left me a list and I've barely started on it. What do you think? Oh, Pip. See you then. Well, I do. Very smart. Ooh, ooh. They should give you the job straight away. <laughs> yeah, if, if it was for wearing a nice suit. You've got a lot more going for you than that. Yeah. I'm sure Webster's are going to be really impressed. Yeah. Well, let's hope so. Well, they already are, to call you back. Well, yeah, me and half a dozen others. <laughs> Bye, Gran. Bye, love. Best of luck. Mm. Give us a ring when you come out of the interview. No, yeah, OK. I'll see you later. Drive carefully. I will. Bye. Doesn't she look grown up? <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, David, the open day. Mm. What sort of things have you still got to do? Um, well, one thing's the display boards. Normally that's Josh's job, but with his exams, I really don't want to distract him. Of course not. Why don't I do that? You? If you gave me an idea of what's to go where, I'm sure I could manage it. Well, of course you could, Mum, if you didn't mind probably enjoy it. Well, that'd be fantastic. <sighs> and one thing I absolutely must do today is ask Adam if he'll bring his big combine over. Yes, that's always popular, isn't it? I can easily ring him for you. No, no, I really think I should do it. In fact, I'm going to try and pop over there this afternoon. Do you mind if I sit here? Mm. Oh, so. Thanks. Oh. I'll be going soon. Busy this morning, isn't it? I'm Vince. Oh, morning, Vince. I'm Eddie. How are you doing, Eddie? Well, can't complain. <laughs> Business or pleasure? Do what? Why are you staying here? Oh, I, uh, I live here. Do you? Yeah. Me uh, and the wife and, and me dad. Permanently? Ah, oh, for the foreseeable. We moved in when... 
Well, we just like it here, you know. Well, full time in a luxury hotel, that's amazing. Well, just lucky, I guess. So, um, are you retired? Oh, no, or? no, no. Uh, got a lot of business interests. Um, landscaping, uh, uh, statuary, <laughs> agricultural contracting, uh, seasonal poultry, uh, party planning. Uh, uh, that one's uh, quite a new operation. You've obviously done very well out of it. May I give you my card? Oh, you're an estate agent. I'm here for the commercial property conference. I'm sure we could be of service. I'll uh, bear it in mind, Vince. Right, I'd better get on. Uh, got a look in on a, a pub refurbishment in Borchester. Oh, building work as well. Yeah, didn't I mention that? Will you be back later? Maybe we could have a drink. Sounds good. <laughs> I'll see you later. You just caught me. I'm on my way up to the polytunnels. Oh, how's it going? Yeah. Yeah, the pickers seem to have settled in well. You okay, Adam? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> just had to endure a lunch, accompanied by my moaning sister. Oh, well, this is Kate, I take it. How did you guess? What was she moaning about? Mainly this young farmer's treasure hunt. Really? Ah, oh, she was so looking forward to entering with Phoebe. But... Phoebe's one of the organisers. <laughs> exactly. So Mum offered to go with her, but apparently she's not fun enough. Why doesn't she ask Josh or Phoebe to suggest someone? Not a bad idea. They'll know if anyone's got a spare place in the car. Well, I'll pass that on. Anything to shut her up. <laughs> anyway... Have you heard the latest with the cricket team? Oh, yeah, I heard you scraped a win against Leighton Cross. Well, not that. Tom's persuaded Rob Titchener to join up. Oh, yes, yeah, I had heard. He'll probably be selected for the Wimbledon match. You don't seem very happy about it. He's a good player, isn't he? Oh, no doubt. Not my favourite person, though. No. I never thought I'd be batting for the same side as Rob Titchener. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, it's all right. Um, look, I know I've left this to the last minute, but um, I was hoping that you could bring your combine over to ours on Sunday. Oh. Last couple of years have been a real attraction. Um, uh, I'm so sorry, David. Charlie Thomas got to me first. He asked if I could take it up to Barrow Farm as part of their display. Oh. Wish I'd thought to phone first. No, it's not down to you, Adam. Oh. It's my own fault. I've just been so behind with it this year. Well, with Heather, on top of everything. Yeah. How is she? Uh, she's back at home now, but very frail. Uh-huh. Yeah, it doesn't look like Ruth will be home for a bit. Oh, um... This is Pip. Do you mind? No, no, of course. Um, was there anything else? No, just the combine. OK, I'll leave you to it. All right. Sorry again. No, no, don't worry about it, really. Pip, hi. Are you done? Yeah, just out of the interview now. How was it? Tough. Hmm. How do you think you did? Uh, I honestly haven't got a clue. Just a case of crossing my fingers and waiting now. So when were you a country singer? Oh, back in the 70s and 80s. Before your time, I expect. I don't know anything about country music anyway. Oh, don't you, Vince? Oh, right. Well, it's not as glamorous as people think, the music business. I mean, yeah, there's the parties and the groupies and the, the flash cars. <laughs> but yeah, you get a bit tired of all that. After the first 10 or 15 years... And is that how you made your money, Eddie? Oh, no, no. I've always had business interests, mainly farming back then. A musical farmer, like Alex James. Yeah. Yeah, just like Alex. Do you know him? Well, with Alex, can anyone say they really know the man? Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> These... Going down pretty quickly, aren't they? Ooh, yeah. Not bad beer, that. <clears throat> you, uh, you okay to get the next round? Me? Only it's, well, not counting, obviously, but the first three have been on my tab. Oh, yeah, so they have. Actually, I'll tell you what, Vince. <laughs> Hold on to those glasses and give me a sec. Not only will I sort you some drinks out, I'll organise some to soak it up, too. Are they all right? Mum, they look great. I know they might not be up to Josh's standards. No, really, they're just as good. Well, 
It's one job you don't have to worry about. Oh, Mum, it's a huge help. And if there's anything else I can do... Thanks. I'll take another look at the list. Just say... Uh, at least on the day, we'll have some help with marshalling people and so on. Thanks to the fair brother boys. Yeah. And I can't see Ruth getting back for Sunday. No. Best to plan to manage without her, I think. Yeah. Guess what? Hey, steady on, Pip. What is it? Webster's just rang me. The, the head of international operations in person. And? He offered me the job. Really? <laughs> what did you say? Um, I said I had several other attractive propositions to consider and I'll get back to him. You didn't? <laughs> of course I didn't. I said yes. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> they want me to start in August. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, that's really good news, oh. Pip. Well done. Oh, you're talking about some of the projects I might be working on. I, I could be going to Brazil. Brazil? Yeah, they've got a new cattle handling system for big dairy units and they've got a lot of interest from Brazil. Um, they've got a joint venture partner out there. I'll, I'll tell you all about it when I've messaged my friends. OK, Pip. <laughs> you're right, Dad. Yeah, I'm just tired, that's all. <sighs> hey, come on, let me give my clever <laughs> daughter a hug. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. Living the dream, <laughs> hey? I s still can't quite believe it. <laughs> Feeling the cold, Eddie? Do what? That's a heavy coat to be wearing in here. Oh, um... I always find it so hot in Grey Gables. Yeah. Oh, Adam, I, I think I might be coming down with some... <clears throat> oh. You're not wasting away, that's for sure. Looks like you've put on weight, if anything. Oh, does it? <laughs> Must be all these cooked breakfasts. <laughs> you can blame your Ian for that. Yeah. Any road, I expect you're busy. Oh, not really. i have finished for the day. Heading back up to the flat to slump in front of the telly. Oh, I won't keep you. OK. See you later. Oh, uh, sorry about that, Vince. Oh, no worries. Uh, a farming friend of mine. Oh, right. OK. There you go, from my own private supply. Don't drink from the can, mind. We ain't animals, are we? OK, then. Is this, um, is this really allowed, Eddie? Well, when you've got to my stage in life, you make your own rules. <laughs> Better hide the empty, though. Don't want the other guests getting ideas? <laughs> So you like getting one over the powers that be, then? <laughs> Forbidden fruit tastes sweeter, Vince. Um, sausage meat buffet bar? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. I can tell. You're a maverick like me. Um, I'll tell you what. You got any of your uh, estate agent pals around? Yeah, there's quite a few of us here. Uh, well, if they're of a similar persuasion to you... I could keep them supplied in booze and nibbles for the rest of the night, at a fraction of Grey Gables prices. <laughs> You're quite a character, Eddie, even with all you've achieved. Uh, never stop striving, Vince. You're an entrepreneur to your fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> I must get Josh to take a look at those boards. Get the master's seal of approval, you mean? Well, I'm sure he'll be as impressed as I was. <laughs> It was nothing, really. I had fun doing it. <laughs> fun. Remind me what that is again. Oh. <laughs> David, mm. Pip's job. Yeah, yeah, isn't it wonderful? Of course it is. When young people are finding it so difficult to get work, she's doing very well. Well, she's already got usable skills, that's why. She hasn't just learned stuff from books. And how do you feel about it? Me? I'm delighted for her, obviously. And? What do you mean? Come on, David. I know it's not just tiredness. No, I'm all right. I am genuinely very pleased for her. But? But, yes. I'm going to miss her terribly. And last time. What on earth were you thinking of up till all hours with that Vince and his cronies? Oh. Nipping up and down stairs all evening. Oh, just a bit of business, Clary Love. You said you wanted no. me to... Oh. 
I ain't got time to listen to any of your nonsense. I've got to get to work. Shouldn't you have already started? Oh, what time is it? Nearly nine. What? I should have been there an hour ago. Why didn't you wake me? Thanks, Ed. Well, we made quick work of the baling. I've got time to move the irrigation on the cabbages now. That's good. What's up? Oh, I've just heard from the agent. That woman who put in the offer on the shop last week, she's going ahead with a place in Holliton, so we're back to square one. Well, don't worry. We'll find a buyer soon. Yeah, perhaps. Oh, I'm worried about Anya. She knows her job isn't going to last forever. Suppose she gets another one before we manage to sell the place. Has she said anything? No. But you could hardly blame her if she did, could you? How about if we promised Anya a job at the new place here? Oh, it's far, far from guaranteed, though. Even if it does go ahead, we don't know the time scale. <sighs> I can't throw the village shop out of the packing shed just to keep Anya on. Well, actually, I've been thinking about that. Just mm. taking me tea break, Helen. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Have you seen the Echo? Big advertisement for Barrow Farms Open Day on Sunday. Full page. They are pushing the boat out. Mm. You can't move for posters in the village. Well, all around the local area. Brookfield's effort isn't going to get much of a look in this year, is it? Oh, I expect lots of people will still be loyal to Brookfield. Mm, some folk might go to both. Yeah. yeah, but anyone from outside the village, this is the one they're going to be aware of. Did you enjoy the meal? Oh, yes, it was fine. Cod in white sauce with mash and peas. Mm. But I hadn't come for the food. It was for the company. It was nice to catch up with Ted. I hadn't seen him for such a long time. How long has his wife been in here? Violet. Oh, several years now. She was here before Jack. <laughs> He's a saint, that man. Thank you, Mrs. Dawson. Just Dawson's a loyal husband, that's all. Isn't that... Hello, Christine. Oh, H hello. <laughs> Have you been visiting? <laughs> no, not me. I'm mum chauffeurs for the evening. Oh, I've been sharing the evening meal with a friend and his wife. Brian and Jenny have got Pam and um, Martin Gibson round tonight, and I just can't abide that man. So I've been happily sitting in the corner of the lounge with a novel. Yes, I'm really not sure it's suitable reading material for a place like this, Lillian. Racy, is it? <laughs> Come on, Mum. Half of the folk in here are past caring, and the other half could probably do with a bit of excitement. Hmm. So, Chris, who have you been seeing? Oh, uh, well, I, I don't expect you know them. I'll just get my bag, Mum, and then... Um, are you happy to go? Yes, that's fine. Actually, Peggy, I, I haven't been visiting anyone. I, I came to have a look around. A look around? Whatever for? I'm thinking of moving in here myself. What are you drawing? I was just thinking about layouts for the new shop. Mm. There's huge potential for on-farm premises now, much more than when Mum and Dad started the shop here. Let's have a look, then. <clears throat> uh, I can't work this out. Are you thinking of expanding into the whole pack house? Oh, no. I've got a much better idea. What about converting the old parlour? Oh? It's got fantastic possibilities. It's certainly got much more space. I mean, these are only scribbles, really. We should talk to an architect and get some proper proposals. Well, yeah. But, um, don't you think we should talk to Mum and Dad first when they get back from Croatia? Oh, yeah, sure. Obviously, they'd have to be on board. But it wouldn't do any harm to explore things a bit. Have you discussed this with anyone? No. And what's brought it on? You're not here, lot, you? Oh, no. As I say, it's it's just that I can't face going back to Woodbine Cottage. Even so, you can't be serious about moving here. Well, it's a well-run place. You've always spoken very highly of the staff. Oh, yes, the laurels is very good. But it's not the place for you, Chris. Not yet. Why not? Well, you're still active. You get out and about, don't you? Not as much as I used to. Well, that's the same for all of us. But you can still look after yourself, not like the residents here. What's brought this on? Oh, where do I start, Peggy? Right, that's the lascivious literature hidden safely away. You ready, Mum? 
Actually, um, Chris is going to give me a lift back to the lodge, aren't you, Chris? Uh, oh, yes, if you want. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. Well, I, I think I might pop into Greg Gables for a bite of supper, then. If that's all right with you. Yes. yes no, I, I can fill in the time there until Home Farm becomes a Gibson-free zone. <laughs> all right, then. Um, see you soon. Cheerio. Bye, Lillian. Bye. Peggy. Now, I... Chris, Dr Woolley prescribes a slice of Madeira cake and a cup of tea. Oh. All right, if you say so. In fact, I think this might be serious enough for a glass of sherry. Here you are, at last. Don't start, Clary. You might have said you were going to be late back. I had to put in extra time because of me late start. Well, whose fault is that? Oh, I know. You've only got yourself to blame, Eddie. Yeah, well, I put in the hour, so everything's all square with the gaffer. No, don't just... Throw that jacket on the bed, put it away in the wardrobe. No, I'll do it after I've eaten. I'm going to the bistro. What are they prices? Oh, no, I don't care. Well, I've had all days a couple of jerk pork mini ribs. You ain't going nowhere till I've had a word with you. Oh, can't it wait? Caroline came to see me earlier. Did she? Chambermaid's been complaining. A chambermaid? About our rooms. The mini bars are stuffed to overflowing with leftover party food. You promised you'd get rid of all that stuff. Look, I have been. I spent most of last night trying to offload it. What do you mean, offload it? Nothing. Just, well... I, I, no, all you've got to do is throw it away. No, oh, it could be a waste. I don't oh. care. Oliver and Caroline's been very good to us. You shouldn't be taking liberties. I ain't. It were bad enough having that party in the first place without the leftovers causing a public health hazard. All right. I'll take care of it. Tonight? First thing tomorrow. On my way to work. Good. Now, can I go and have me tea? There you are. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Now leave the bottle there in case you want a top-up. Oh, no. One'll be plenty. I'm driving. So... Tell me all about it. Why don't you want to go back to Woodbine Cottage? Oh, I know it seems feeble, Peggy, but it, it's just too big. I always thought it was rather cosy. Oh, not the place itself. I mean, everything. The refurbishment. It, it's such a lot of work. You won't be doing any of it, Chris. The, the decisions. The upheaval. Oh, and it's not just that. It just doesn't feel like home anymore. It barely did before the flood, to be honest, and living with Shula... That's going all right, isn't it? Oh, yes. She and Alistair couldn't be nicer. But it's made me realise that I'm not one of those people who's happy living alone. I'm no Carol Tregoran. But you're very central. There must be people around all the time. There are, but since George died, even with people around, I feel lonely every day. He was so comforting, so reliable. Yes, I do understand. I know exactly what you mean. Mmm! Look who it is, the Lord of Grey Gables. Pardon? <laughs> Pull up a chair, Eddie, and tell me what yarns you've been spinning. Oh, don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> I have been in conversation with a man called Vince. <clears throat> and we got talking because he works in property. Ring any bells? Oh, uh, yeah, I uh, might have bumped into him around the place. Well, he started to tell me about this eccentric millionaire who lives in the hotel full time. Oh, yeah. Dresses like a tramp. What? And has all sorts of big time business interests. Name of them. Um... Eddie Grundy. He, he must have got the wrong end of the stick. <laughs> he certainly has. He thinks he's going to make a mint out of you next time you have property to sell. <laughs> well, he's going to be disappointing. <laughs> I'll say. Having a little flight of fantasy, were we? Oh, well, I may have been a bit creative with the truth, but there weren't no harm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Do you fancy a drink? 
If you're boying Lillian. Oh, go on then. <laughs> mm. And if you want something to soak it up with. Mm, sorry? I can. actually. no. better not. Better not what? Never mind. <laughs> but Tom's pigs might be getting a treat tomorrow. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Have you considered asking Shula if they'd be willing to let you stay longer? Make it a more permanent arrangement. Oh, no. I wouldn't be comfortable with that. She and Alistair have been absolutely wonderful, but I wouldn't want to be beholden to her permanently. But why the laurels, Chris? Well, I'd be well looked after. There'd be people around me. You wouldn't get much company out of a lot of them. No, but some... And there's always the staff. Hmm. And it's local. It'd be easy for everyone to visit me if they wanted. I, I could just sell up the cottage to cover my costs. Well, that's all well and good. But if you're determined not to go back to Woodbine Cottage, surely there are other options. Sheltered housing, for example. I'd still be on my own, though. And there's nothing like that in the village. But honestly... Is it how you want to spend the rest of your life? Asleep in an armchair at the laurels for most of the day? Well, that's a very negative way of looking at it. Well, I'm sorry, but it really doesn't sound like the Christine I know. <sighs> that's the trouble, Peggy. I think the Christine you know might not exist anymore. I heard your car. Oh, uh, Hi, Pip. What, are you in two cars, then? Uh, yeah. Teams of two, you said. Uh, right. Uh, Go Toby's ahead. going with... Hello, uh... Pip! Kate! She says she's your cousin? Uh, yes, Rex, she is. This is good, um, isn't it? Lovely evening for it! You OK to go with me? Uh, yeah, I guess so. So we've both got a local girl to keep us on the right track. Yeah, it looks like you're going to need it, Toby. <laughs> so long, suckers! <laughs> so, Pip, got everything you need? Uh, yeah. yeah. Might as well get on with it. Have you ever eaten sausage meat buffet bites? <laughs> Can't say I've ever heard of them. Why? Well, Eddie Grundy just tried to give a pack of them to me. Eddie? <laughs> Best left alone, I thought. Very wise. Anyway, Charlie, what brings you here? Um, Open Farm Sunday. I was wondering if you needed any help moving the combine. Maybe someone driving ahead to warn the traffic. Mum said she'd do that. Well, I don't mind, Adam, as you're moving it for our benefit. All right, then. I'll stand her down. Good. Was there anything else? Well, I'm done for the day, so I wondered if you fancied heading to the pub. Uh, no, better not. I've got to get the barbecue sorted out for this treasure hunt. OK. But uh, we'll be arriving back for a couple of hours. Why don't we just go up to the house and do a quality check on some of the refreshments? I'm sure that guy thought I was planning to burgle his house. <laughs> I mean, saying you were just trying to count the number of shutters. <laughs> Didn't sound very convincing, did I? No. <laughs> well, thank <laughs> goodness we had the question paper to show him. What's he going to say when a dozen other cars turn up? Well, at least he'll know it wasn't just a cover story. OK. Is this it, Pip? A uh, flower jogged through a Latin farewell. Yeah. Was around in the veil. And up to now, that year of Latin I did at school hasn't been any use at all. If only you'd known. You might have done two years. So, what's the question for here? Um, at this point, it's fairly narrow, where a bird sits, but not a sparrow. Oh, well, that's obvious. Is it? Yeah, perch. Where a bird sits, but not a sparrow. Why doesn't a sparrow sit on a perch? Because this is the river perch. Oh. And a sparrow isn't a water bird. You know this area really well, don't you? Well, I have lived here all my life, Rex. Unlike Kate. I'm obviously lucky to have got you, then. <clears throat> uh, next location? Uh, OK, well, this is an anagram. Now, Jot's Sharp Van. Oh, do you need a pen? Uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Well, I think that might be... No, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's St John's Parva. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, where's um, that then? Uh, over the bridge and turn left. Oh. 
<laughs> so, you're a real Borsetshire lass. Not for much longer. I've got a job. Oh, who with? Uh, Webster Agri International. Oh, yeah. They're big, aren't they? Worldwide. Fantastic. I'm a bit nervous about it, to be honest. That's not like you. Justin's made it very clear. Now, open Farm Sunday at Barrow Farm has to be a success. Well, you remember last year's disaster. Well, <clears throat> no one can legislate for a dead calf. So he's determined to show the community that BL and Damara are not some remote organisation exploiting the area. Oh, well. We're good citizens of the local community. Well, good luck with that. But what I'd like to get across to the people is that the Barrow Estate and Barrow Farm, they're a new sort of agricultural enterprise. How so? Well, we exploit the best in new technology and apply it to the land, not just to maximise food production, but to generate green energy as well. Your energy might be green, Charlie, but I think you'll have trouble persuading people about the environmental benefits of your farming policies. We want to bring jobs and wealth to the area while still retaining its natural beauty. Well, this is it, isn't it? How many jobs for local people do you actually generate? And where does the wealth go? A venture capital firm based in the city of London. You could hardly call Damara a local citizen. Well, Justin feels very strong ties to the area. He may well be moving here. Oh, I thought that had all fallen through now that Brookfield isn't for sale. Well, you can never say never, Adam. Charlie, I can see why this is important to you, and I'm happy to help with the loan of a combine. But in terms of spinning Damara's line, well, for that, you're on your own. It was interesting what Toby was saying about your plans. It looks like you've got very clear ideas. Yeah, we think so, Pip. Oh, although it can't be how you're expecting things to turn out. No. Well, you always know rugby isn't a career for life just happened earlier than you expected. Yeah. It was pretty touch and go for a while. If my vertebra had been displaced a couple more millimetres, I could easily have been paralysed. Really? So, yeah, that makes you think long and hard about what you want to achieve. Yeah. Oh, uh, is this it? Uh, yeah, um, just pull in on the left, Rex. Ah. So, what's the clue? Right. Here are some pictures to get you in a muddle. What is the colour of the answer to this puzzle? And then there's this sort of equation with pictures. Mm. Um, so that plus that minus that. Let's see. Well, I mean, that's Ben Affleck. That's a milk churn. Well, well done. Girl, you're not even a dairy farmer. <laughs> and some sort of vase. Well, so Ben Affleck plus churn mm. minus vase. Is it a vase um, or is it... Bench. Mm. It's Ben plus churn minus urn. Oh. Is there a bench? Um, uh, oh, over there, uh, by, by the stone cross. And it's green. Excellent. We are motoring through ah. these. Good stuff. Mm. <clears throat> Straight on, is it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure this next clue is about the old pub in Matcham. It, it's closed down and it's a Thai restaurant now. Awesome. So, what about you? Do you have a vision for Brookfield? Or, now you've got this great job, are you going to wave goodbye to the family farm? Well, oh no, no, I'll be back. That, that's part of the point. Um, I want to get experience with livestock units all around the world and then take what's best for us. So you've no specific yeah. thoughts at the moment? Well, I do think we should go in for robotic milking. Have you come across that? Uh, yeah, vaguely. Uh, it's very high-tech, isn't it? <laughs> Fairly. <laughs> what sort of investment would you be looking at? Around 400,000. Wow. And what margin are you making on your milk at the moment? Well, it's not great. Hmm. What? Well, uh, no, but <laughs> you're the expert, Pip. No, 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 go on. OK. Well, if it was me... I'd be very cautious about that sort of outlay. But we're determined to avoid big capital costs. You can end up working yourself to death just to service the overhead. Yeah, Toby was saying the same thing. We're trying to stay free and flexible. So, Kate, 
When you say you're flexible... Yeah, I am. It's all this yoga. You wouldn't believe how bendy it makes you. I can get my body into all sorts of positions. <laughs> can you now? <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind seeing that. I'm sure you wouldn't. Well, it could be arranged, Toby. Which way? Any way you like. No, <laughs> I mean at the junction. <laughs> <laughs> Left or right? Oh, um... You know, I haven't got the slightest idea. I'm going to have to talk to Phoebe about these clues. They're ridiculous. I mean, flower jogged through a Latin farewell. What's that supposed to mean? Beats me. Toby, are you really bothered about this quiz? Well... It's just I know where the end point is. It's back at home farm. That's where you live. Yeah. And there's drinks and a barbecue waiting there. That sounds good to me. Oh, and did I mention we've got a pool? We did most of them. Just left a couple. Uh, yeah, we didn't want to get a time penalty. So you've handed in your sheets to Josh and Phoebe? Soon as we got here. Right. But she said there were still some stragglers to arrive. So. Well, quite a few got here pretty early. Ah, so we see. They must be geniuses. I don't know, those questions weren't easy. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think some of them only paid lip service to the question sheet. Brother <laughs> Lee! I'm on it! Anyway, would you guys like a burger or...? Um, one? Oh, no. no. Toby, don't! No. Three! Toby, for God's sake! Oh, hi, Rex. You made it, then. We're guests in someone's home. Oh, relax. This is Kate's place. Yeah, Kate's dad's place. Oh, Toby! Yeah, and she's loving it. Look! Just wait till I get you! Ah, uh, you won't have to wait long. Oh, what are you doing? Going for a swim? In your boxers? Better than the alternative, bro. Here I come! Gotcha! Toby! Oh, this is so embarrassing. I'm really sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Why can't Kate act her age? I could say the same thing about Toby. <laughs> Oh, what's he done now? The water's turned purple. Just a bit of rattle powder. Oh. Oh, don't you like me the colour I am? Right, that's <laughs> enough. Everyone out of the pool. Oh, oh. it's just a bit of fun. Oh. Now, please. Oh, don't Come be on. such a spoiled sport, Adam. You know rattles usually scram, don't you, Toby? I'm saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is going to be livid when he gets home. I wonder what the rattle's going to do to the water. It isn't going to be good. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if the whole pool has to be drained. <laughs> Great party. Does anyone want a drink? No, I'm all right at the moment, thank you. Rex? No, thanks. Hurry up, Toby! <laughs> oh, God, your cousin is a right laugh. Well, she's got a lot of baggage. I think she might be overcompensating. Oh, she seems great. Uh, I'll catch you later. That purple hair really suits you. I used to have a purple, actually. Oh, yeah. Here, could I give you a gentle warning? What about? Well, don't get me wrong. I, I love my brother to bits. But you know the men your mother used to warn you about? Well... well why are you telling me? Um, I'm not interested in him or anything. Ah, uh, no, sure, OK. Just bear it in mind, though. <laughs> are you two all right? Oh, yeah, we're fine. Oh, sorry, Adam. Uh, it's my dad. I'll, I'll just... Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Bye, Dad. I'm uh, really sorry about Toby's antics. Thanks, Rex, but it's Toby who should be apologising. Uh, yeah. I'm afraid sorry isn't a word you'll often hear on Toby's lips. Well, I think Brian might like to hear him conjure it up. I'll have a word. Thanks. Oh, no, OK, Dad. No, OK. No, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll come straight back. Pip, um, are you all right? No, no, not really. It's my, it's my grand, Granny Heather. Uh, she's back in hospital. Oh, no. She's had a massive stroke. 